Get him! Leon! This game. This game. I purposely didn't play the demo for this. I don't know anything about this. Other than the fact that it scored a 93 on Metacritic. How often does a game score 93%? But more so, when's the last time a horror game scored 93%? Probably never. I don't know. I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. I'm so unbelievably excited to play this. This is something I was hoping they would make for years. All the fans were hoping. There's a reason for that. Resident Evil 2 is known to be like the best of the series back then. And this looks like it's going to deliver. Like, I don't even know what to say. So, Claire Redfield versus Leon. I think we have to go with Leon, right? Is it just like a difficulty or is it a different story? Hmm. Probably a different story, right? If I remember, it was different back then. Standard? Yeah, we'll go standard. Resident Evil games are hard. At least, if it's going to stay true to the nature, it will be hard. So standard is what we're going to do. Guys, guys. Can you believe this even? Look, man, oh I'm my god. My own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was All right. walking home from the bar. And this woman started coming towards me. That is gross as hell, honestly. Me, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Don't lie. You were high. She got closer and I got a good look at her. You were high, Snoop. See her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down. Oh, well, maybe calm a little down. buzz would have helped hey, then. You gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. Oh, come on. Just getting good. Was it though? I don't know. I made some sweat. Oh shit. Nailed him. Got him. The first Zambi has been killed. Good job, my man. Somehow that thing's gonna be alive still, you just watch. The sound is already getting me a little, like, creeped out. What do I do? What am I gonna do? You drive off and pretend it- Oh my- Oh, this is me. This is me, I'm a badass. Look at me driving like a badass. Alright, Leon. Leon! Me soil, I love me soil. They have the best prices. Seven, gotta love that brand, right? No one's around. They are staying so true to what Resident Evil 2 was. Are we gonna jump right in right off the bat like this? Oh, let me adjust my headphones here. Oh god. Oh, we're jumping right in. Oh god, I'm already a, I'm already a little bit like chilled out here. Is it me? Oh, whoa, 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 that's a little sensitive. Alright guys, hold on, give me a second, I need to fix the sensitivity. Alright, I think that's about good. I like to play on 12 inch for 360 because this is clearly an FPS like Quake. In fact, I heard it's almost a, a frame by frame shot storyline compared to Quake. Uh, nah, that's not funny. Alright. Alright, I'm just 
kind of looking around the environment, testing out my camera. This feels okay. Hamburgers. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Hello? Anybody there? The first thing I do when I walk into a place like this is I yell hello, anybody there. Something's not right. You better believe it. 458 plus tax for that washer fluid? Are you out of your mind? Hello? Wow, this... The graphics are actually better than I thought they'd be. The shad- oh god, this game's already creeping me out a little bit, but there's a poster right here that's really got me- Hold on. You all right? Oh, hi! Hold on. Check out this poster, guys. Don't move. I'll be back for you. Oh. Wait. Oh! Oh, Q does a quick turn? Oh god. You gotta love Japanese games! There's like a guy, he's all bloody, the store's all dark. Are you alright? Don't move. I'll be back for you. All right, hold on. I'm going to try running around a little bit. We're just going to figure out the controls. All right. All right, forget the fact that this guy's right here. We should go in here. That's what any sensible person would do. Wow, the sound... The sound is really, like, punchy. Which is a good thing for a horror game. Stop moving! Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir, I got this! Hey! But I'm a cop! Shoot him! I'm a cop, right? What the F? Freeze! 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 Leon, how did you miss, though? Are you serious? Damn it! Okay, the zombies are hard. Wait, wait, wait! There's no pool of blood. Okay, so if you aim, you have to aim for a second before you get your full like accuracy. Whoa, that's a new take. I don't trust you. I don't. Just... Hello? This is creeping me out, man. Can I hide right here for the whole game? I can live off of Fruit Loops. Alright, guys. Let's be serious about this. He's gonna... He's gonna... Alright. Oh. Uh. I only have five bullets, dude. Ooh. A well-worn key. So the inventory is pretty classic. You have very limited space. And oh, yes, Leon. I see what you're into. Okay. Right in the ass! Ass shot! Double ass shot! Quadruple ass shot! There's no way. There's no way. I quadruple headshotted and quadruple ass shotted you. You know what? I only have one bullet left. Ha ha ha! Idiot! That's right. Alright, let's go this way. When you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item and then use the something command. That is so classic Resident Evil. You have to like go in the any other game you have the item and it just opens the door. This one you have to like go in the inventory, click key, click yes, open door. <laughs> I'm out of bullets, dude. Asafer? Um. Um. 
I must be going. I must be going. But I was out of bullets. It's okay. No, Leon's I... also a wizard. Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right, you take the one on the left, I take the one on the right. Come on. We're safe. Another typical day of picking up ladies. This is how Leon does it for all of them. So what's your name, miss? What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully I don't know, but would you mind taking me to dinner tonight? Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Alright. Live around here? No. He is hitting on her. For my brother. <laughs> Too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. <laughs> Boy, is that the understatement of a century? There's like actual zombies killing everything. Oh, I just don't know what to expect anymore. I got. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not making fun of it, but I am. Like, you gotta love these these Japanese horror games, dude. All right. I almost thought about buying an all-new graphics card just to play this in max settings because I tried to max it out and it put it in the red and it was like Sir, are you serious? This is like max graphics and I was like, yeah, and it was like No, you're not allowed to do that. And it's like let's recommend this for you So I'm, I'm playing on like probably 70% of what the graphics could be Man. Man, oh god, this is gonna be so good. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak. Yeah. You were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. That's right, the old game took place in the, like, police station, right? And I saw a few screenshots, and it looks like it's, like, a, an actual police representation of what the old one They'll know something. was. Yeah, but... What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No. Don't survivors. worry, girl. We'll repopulate the Earth. It's a big city. There has to be. By adopting children, of course. What, what did you think I'm talking about? Don't be inappropriate. Wow, this... I like what they're doing so far with this. Resident Evil 7 was good. This is better. <laughs> I can already tell. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, good call. Yeah, good call. Oh! Leon, you gotta back up. Just run him over. Oh my god, it's the final boss! There's a hand on him, dude. Or is that his hand? Buckle up! Put your airbag on! It's going to ass blowed! No? I thought it would. Oh! Okay! <laughs> I called it! <laughs> Oh no! I'm gonna keep saying this. This really feels like Resident Evil 2. It is amazing. Claire! Claire, are you okay? 
Nothing a little plastic surgery can't fix. I'm all right. Oh, nope. Never mind. You? She's good. Can't stay here. It's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. Oh, God. No. Uh, uh. Yeah. This is out of control. <laughs> this is out of control. Ah! Wow, that's so loud, dude. They're like screaming in my ear. Uh, 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 hi, hi, how are you doing? Oh, no. Where? Where? That way. Any good Resident Evil game will not give you enough ammo to kill everything. So far, I'm pretty convinced that that's going to be the case. It's everybody. Hey, hey! All turned. Ah! Like, and that's what a real zombie apocalypse would be, right? Oh, I have zero bullets. There it is. You would not have enough Station. ammo to go around burr, 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 just shooting everything all the time. Any good horror game will do that. And so few of them do. And this one so far, right off the bat, is like, by the way, here's 900 zombies, here's zero bullets. Get used to it. That is just so cool. Uh, all right, all right. That's what you get for not wearing your seatbelt. Shit. No! 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 Get him up! Get! Ah! All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I like that the controls aren't like super responsive, so you can just like dodge everything. It kind of feels like old Resident Evil, where it's kind of like you gotta have to work to control the movement of your guy. Which is a good thing. The old Resident Evil games had those weird tanky controls and it made it really hard to control your dude. Like if I tried to just spin around, you can't just like easily dodge left and right. Like, And in a way, like taking away control from the player is a good thing. This is not freaking Halo where I can just like strafe everything. So how do I check my health? All right, I'm still in the fine. That's so cool they do it just like the old games. Now, if it's similar to the old games, I can basically be bit like three times before I'm dead. Oh my God. This looks just like the old one, dude. Oh my God. Are you guys impressed by this? I... Keep out. Keep out of this specific door. Hmm. How do you go into Hello? melee? I guess there isn't. Is anybody here? What's this? Ammo. Do you have to put it into a slot? You do. And that's a good thing. Like... Even your ammo takes an inventory slot. And you see, you only have... Eight slots, yo. You can't carry a whole lot. And if you have like a shotgun or something, in the old games, it would take up two slots. So like, you can't just run around with rocket launchers and pistol, like... This is not the evil within. <laughs> typewriter, so that's how I'm gonna save my game, but you need an ink ribbon to use the typewriter to save your game. And an ink ribbon takes an inventory slot. has to be someone here. Oh! Is it Chris Redfield? Not good. Is it Wesker? David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Are those the graphics from the old Resident Evil? <laughs> Send reinforcements. East hallway. East hallway. I see East Office. Find that guy. I gotta find that guy. Sorry. I'm, I'm gonna have to keep mimicking just because I... It's a form of comfort for me, guys. If I have to deal with horror this way, then so be it. Item box. Deluxe weapons added. Oh, because I pre-ordered? Ha <laughs> Not gonna use these because it would probably make the game a little too easy. Um, but that's cool. First aid spray. Let's not take it just yet. You have to really... 
think about what you want to take with you and what you don't want to take with you. Do I really need this key? This key was from the gas station. I highly doubt I'll ever use it again. Am I really going to go back to that gas station? Probably not. So let's clear our inventory. So these are the choices you have to make. Do I take a health item? Do I take more ammo? Because if you find items along the way, you're going to want to be able to grab and run. It's, it's hard to come back. Oh, oh, I can save without an ink ribbon. Is that because I uh, hit standard mode? I think the hardcore mode, I, I know on the hardcore mode it said you needed ink ribbon. So my guess is on standard mode, you can save whenever. Okay, okay, that's fine. It takes away a little bit of the difficulty, but that's fine. All right, I probably need a knife for that one. Um, we should probably reload. We have six bullets. Let's get a little familiar with our environment here. So we have a door. Uh, oh, the crest. So you need the key with the... Wasn't this same door in the other one? In like the old Resident Evil? Yeah. All right. And you need three emblems to put in here. And then the door will magically open. Because everyone knows a police station is designed that way. Why wouldn't it be? Nice shoes, Leon. They're very white. I'm not sure how that's possible. Alright, so we can't do anything here. Alright, so we got that way or this way. Let's go this way first. Huh? A thing, an arrow, and a ram. Oh, what if I guess it right on my first try? Confirm. Is there like a clue for this? I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out later. I'm not going to play around too much because I don't... I don't think I'm expected to know that puzzle right off the bat. Alright, so door here. I'm just trying to get a sense of where we should be going right now. Ammo. Yes. And this is why you should always search the environment because... Resident Evil games, if this stays true to the old style, are ruthless when it comes to giving you ammo and resources. Really, it's locked. Oh, it has that same crest. Okay. Now, I'm going to try something a little new for my channel. I'm going to, for the first couple episodes, not do a lot of cuts. So me running around like this, if you guys are like, Mark the Shark, will you just cut out all that running? My god, we don't want to see you exploring for everything. If that's the case, I'll just cut to like, when I'm done exploring and stuff like that. Oh. Oh, this is a nice right lead. Oh, that's my footsteps. Alright, alright. Oh, a herb! We got a green herb! This is your form of health. If you save them, you can mix them with other herbs, or combine multiple green herbs to make a stronger one. Enjoy your travel. Did you know while we are home? I'm not gonna read all these. I'll read them to myself. And if you guys wanna read them, go ahead and pause and read it. But I'll read this first one. Introduce you to a few more of the unusual points of interest our city has to offer. This building is the center of town. Oh, the building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. I've suddenly got slightly bored. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage. Oh, God. Are we going to have zombie children? It attracts visitors from all around the world. Yeah, I bet this place will. Oh. Ah, oh, I bet there's something good in there. Does anyone see a hint? Like a sticky note right next to the safe with the password on it, like a sensible person would do? No. No. No, I guess not. Alright, alright. It's locked with that same thing. Well, what am I supposed to do? There must be another door that I'm missing, then. Mm. 
So like all these little parts where I have to run back and down the stairs. If you guys don't want like all that in, I can cut it for you. We'll try it out. We'll see how it is uncut first and then we'll try it with uh, some edits. Just tell me what you guys like in the comments. I don't want to cut it too much. It breaks the sense of immersion, I think. On that same token, if I'm running around like an idiot, unsure of where to go, I'll probably have to do some cutting. Am I going to have to crawl under th Come on. Oh god. Okay. Okay? No, it's not okay. Oh shit, this just got really spooky and I can't go back. And I have six bullets. Wait, no, I have eleven. Okay, good. Let's load up all eleven. Oh god. Battery? Puddle! You scared me! Wow. The sense of immersion, like the ambience in this game is unreal. I have not played a horror game that spooked me like this in some time. I can immediately tell when I start a game, how good it will be. I'm creeped out. The lighting is phenomenal. Got you got this! You got this! You got this! Yeah, that's right, give yourself a little pep talk, Leon. You got this! Maybe I should just walk like this all the time. Alright, let's go this way first. Hello? I'm really jumpy. Alright. Alright. Alright, there's a switch here. Oh, that's... I did not even see you. Why? Oh, he's got ammo on him. Oh. Oh. Can you kick him a few times? Like, right in the head. God bless America, Leon. You're doing for the good job. Alright, so is the point of this room only for ammo? There's a lot of... <laughs> I'm so skeptical of everything. He's gonna come to life. All right, you know what? I'm gonna prove to you I'm a man. We're gonna run right over him. Ha! That's right. You can't do nothing to me. All right, good. Uh. There's a lot of uh, areas in Resident Evil games where there is nothing but a room with maybe ammo or something minor. And the point of it is not everything has to be something. It can be there just to increase the uh, sense of horror like that room was it is chilly it's like it gave me some chills and there really wasn't anything significant in there I mean ammo actually yeah pretty significant you got this you got this Leon you see, I knew you could do it. Cleaning in progress. Oh, thank God. This place... Could use it a little bit. Oh... Bathrooms in horror games are...
All right. Of course. Of course all the stalls are closed. This is a lose-lose. Whether there's something in it or there's something not. There's nothing- there's not gonna be anything. Damn it. Why am I so freaked out here? Alright. This is- Hello? Is there something in here? Oh! Nice! If anything comes through that door. Damn it, dude. God, the shadows! Oh my god! What's this? Hey! Don't move. Freeze! Police! All right. Jesus. What? Huh? It's locked. That's fine. Why would I want to go? Are you okay, Asafer? Open up! Huh? Hurry! What? Open up! Where? Open this goddamn door! I'm doing it. Where are you? Where are you? I'll get you up. Help me. Please. Come here, help me. I got you. Come on. He's dead. He's so hand. dead. He's so dead. Just shoot him, man. Mercy kill him. Are you okay? You okay, bro? I got a herb. You want some first aid spray? <laughs> Please. That's right, take his wallet. <laughs> Officer's notebook. What did a five-year-old draw this? Way out. Goddess statue. Oh, you put the three things, it opens a secret tunnel that goes to a parking structure, and there's a way out. Wow, that is the most complex emergency exit I've ever seen. In case of fire, grab three things, put them in there, secret passage will open. Um, is this thing here? This is that bull statue, right? I can kind of make out the symbols? I think that's the combination. Okay. Are there multiple statues? This is the one that was in the main lobby, right? Oh. Hello? Hey! Headshot! Double headshot! Triple headshot! Reload, please. Now, you can't kill everything. There are going to be times where I have to run, so I probably should not be attempting to kill everything. Huh? 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 Uh, 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 uh. You know what? Let's just go. Let's just go. Gotta go! Gotta go! Gotta go! Gotta go! Do like I said. Jesus! Uh, 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 uh. I don't care if you're dead or not. Get out of my way! Ha! Go! Go! Oh my god, Leon! 
Lose some damn weight, you fat ass. Kick him. Yeah. Chris Redfield. <gasps> You're safe. Now. It's that guy. Marvin Brenner. Marvin. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't... I couldn't... Here. Yeah. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. I did. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Mm. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start Literally. and I got to call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Should have come here sooner. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Could have stopped it single-handedly. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. Yeah. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. No, you won't. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. <laughs> you take it out. Or you run. Got it? I think I'll run. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, Marvin. We can't save him. Ah, the combat knife. Equip on the inventory screen to use this. It wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. You can slash. Can be used to counterattack when you're caught by an enemy. This is key. Can only be retrieved once you defeat the enemy. Oh, so if you stab them off and run, say you're like in a pack of enemies. You have to decide. Do you want to kill six things just to get your knife back? I don't know. That's a whole lot of bullets. Speaking of which, I used almost all of them. What readies my sub weapon? How do you ready the sub weapon? Oh. Wait. Oh, you hold space. Yeah, Leon. Hey, Marvin, do you see these moves? Hey, Marvin. Marvin? Marvin, check out these moves. Oh, okay. Um. I don't think Marvin's gonna make it. Uh, let's go to the item box. Dude, when you're in the dark and you're like trying to run from zombies and you have like that narrow field of vision with that flashlight, it is so hard to tell where you're going. Like straight up. It is legit difficult. What? Can I sort this? There you go. Mm. Alright, let's save it. Just because. Sure we will. Alright, 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 alright. So we're not gonna go back there. Like in a lot of horror games, I would have just tried to shoot my way through that little section. Pretty sure you don't even have enough bullets to do that. And that's the idea. So this is the lion statue. As you take damage, your health will drop from fine to caution to danger. If in danger, use a herb immediately or else it's too late. Alright. Yeah, basically each meter, like fine, like green, yellow, red, each one in the old game would be one bite. If you're bitten, you go to the next level. Like, I think there was a door back there where those zombies came from that they like busted through. I could technically have stayed there and checked out that room. And there's probably something in that room. But that's the risk you have to take. Is this the lion? 
I think that's a lion. It looks like lion head, leaf, bird. Lion head, leaf, bird. Oh! I got the lion medallion. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. Alright, now we can put the lion medallion in the thing. And then once we get the other two, the horse and the... Whatever it, was, whatever it was, I don't know. Let's just examine it for fun. Oh, there's like a thing on the back. Is that Sacagawea? I got a golden Sacagawea limited edition lion coin. Alright. There we go. Elliot was right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. That's some impressive technology. Elliot was right. Um So I have the combat knife now, right? So the only thing I can think of is now we can cut this tape off the box. Because peeling it would just take way too long. There we go. This is not how I imagined my first day. Really? He's like, I imagined it would be similar to this, but more uh, cupcakes and streamers. This is not how I imagined my first day. <laughs> Gotta love the get <laughs> the dialogue. This is not how I imagined my first day. <laughs> Whoa. This, they really nailed the ambience. It reminds me of the old resident. Do you see these moves? Don't come any closer. What? Hello? God, I just want to shoot him. What the? How did a zombie get that thing up there? Because it didn't. There's something else going on here. Hmm. That doesn't look like the work of a zombie. Oh my god, I just remembered. I just remembered. I just remembered Resident Evil 2. I know it's coming. I remember this. There's gonna be blood dripping from the ceiling. What? What? Knife the window? Oh god. I know what's coming, guys. I remember this from Resident Evil 2. Confiscated items. Is there like a grenade launcher in here? <laughs> what the? Hey! Don't do that. God, Leon, why do you have to be so scared? It's not me, it's... If it wasn't for Leon, I wouldn't have been scared at all. Is that Marvin? Look at Marvin got- it is! Marvin Brandon! Officer of the Year! <sighs> Just making sure my recording is going- God, I know what's coming, guys. What the hell do you want me to do with this? It's 
gonna be on the ceiling. Question is, do we run or fight it? I know what it is. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Damn it. Itch! Are you... Are you... Are you kidding? I really wish they would do like the old games and have the puddle of blood so you know that they're actually dead. Why are you moving? Alright. Oh god. I need to use my- You are shitting- Sit down! What?! <gasps> Bitch! Dude, they are really making the zombies like the old game. It takes so many shots. Hold on, I wanna see if a puddle of blood appeared. She's gotta be dead now. This is what I'm talking about, though. Like, the old games were hard. Oh, man, I really wish I could get a... Compo. I love Compo. <laughs> Record of events. Returning into a shelter because of the sudden massive outbreak. Mm -hmm. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of an officer and three others. It was someone snapping under intense stress. A mob attacked the station, resulting in a number of casualties. None of us were able to escape the secret passageway because we didn't have the three emblems. All right. All right, there's a door there, but it's chained. What do I need, like a bolt cutter? Police station map. Now, in the old games, I actually really did use the maps because this place, if it's anything comparable to old games, is going to be a labyrinth. Oh, God, that looks like a one-way trip if I've ever seen one. Um, allow me to casually walk this way first. Oh, thank God. Oh, combine. Good, you can combine the ammo. That guy's gonna get up and attack me from behind as soon as I attack this guy. Alright, maybe he won't notice. Uh. Oh, that fat ass wants a snack! <laughs> Alexa, stop! No, <laughs> Alexa, stop! Alexa, stop! <laughs> well... Alright, I heard there was a gameplay mechanic. You can distract zombies with snacks. As long as there's a candy machine, <laughs> they will not attack you. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Why don't the zombies try to go for the candy machines instead of the people? Uh, hey! Uh. <laughs> Aha! I knew you were still alive. If he gets up, though, I will frickin... Let's reload our gun. Hello? 
There's no way. Alright, now you're dead. Really? Wow, the lighting of this game is just... Mm. Hold on, there's a zombie trying to get through the window down there, dude. Alright. Alright, if he gets through, he gets through. Just keep your ears peeled, I guess. Your ears peeled? Oh. Anything in the locker? God, I'm like desperate for every bullet I can get. I've only fought like three zombies and I'm already... Get him! Leon! What? Son of a bitch! I don't have the code. Gunpowder. Oh. Use of a gunpowder. You can make handgun ammo, shotgun shells, mag ammo. There's not much ammo left, so you better make use of any gunpowder. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things. Or you won't get what you need. Yeah. Ha! Ah, yeah. Alright, let's, let's, let's knife him. We have the upper hand! Ah! Never mind! Never mind, we don't. You stupid. Alright. Alright, give me my knife back, you little... Ugh. Whoa, dude, my knife durability is like... 20% left. Are you kidding me? Maybe I shouldn't be knifing everything. Rookie's first assignment, Leon Kennedy. We're putting you in a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock the desk by grabbing three emblems after you find them through secret areas of the apartment. Or the complex. Uh, the key to your success is the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each of your desk. I don't know the names of our lieutenants. Be glad you're not here, Ricky. Oh, it was from Marvin. All right. Initial the initials of our first names. In the order of the desks. Well, it's Marvin, right? What? Oh, oh, it's going to be each letter is a first name. All right, all right, all right. I can't really see anything. Welcome, Leon. Oh, you guys threw me a party? So there's another lock here, so I need to know. Ow. So this is Marvin, Rita. Where's his name plate, damn it? Griswold? George! <laughs> MRG. Alright, so it's MRG. Leon, you can do this. M. R. G. Alright. And on this side, it's David. I assume it's from left to right. Alright, this one we don't know, so we might have to guess, guess and check. So we have, an, we have something... An E and a D. So something E and D. So make this E and D. And just try it. Uh, 
There it is. And there's a shotgun in there for me. High capacity mag. What? A custom part for the Matilda that extends the clip capacity 24 rounds and shortens reload time. Oh! Can you combine it with the gun? Yes! <laughs> of course. Like, and that's so Resident Evil. You have to, like, it doesn't auto-upgrade your weapon. You have to, like, click the part, combine it, and if you didn't figure that out, well, you just don't get the upgrade. So now I have... I actually have a good amount of ammo. I didn't get into that safe, though. Alright, that's okay. Alright. Probably gonna cut this soon. We're gonna probably cut pretty soon, but I have a feeling I know what's gonna be outside of this room when I walk out the door. So let's see what's out there. You... How do we do this? Shit. Can I shoot through? Ah! Oh my god. I keep forgetting to use my quick spin. Is he dead or what? My knife is like almost dead. <laughs> what the? You are kidding me! I'm not gonna waste a bullet on this stupid asshole. All right, hold on. Let's just get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Operation report. Give me time to read. <laughs> Alright, all right, all right, all right. I can't tell where he is. Is he coming this way or this way? Hello? I, I don't know why I'm so afraid of this stupid little peasant on the floor. Alright. There's no way he gets through the door now. Oh my god. Alright. 20 bullets. If the zombies are this hard to kill... Then there's no way in a million days... That I will kill what I know is coming up. This one's barred. This one has a, a metal bar. I assume that he can't get through. He's down here. Oh, a herb, yes. How is my health? Oh, that's fine. We might have to combine herbs though, honestly. Wooden boards. Can be used to board up windows. That's why you wanted me to look at the window. Well, I mean, there's a metal bar on that one. All right, that might not be a metal bar. That might just be the frame. Let's uh, let's board it up. Yeah, just like that. Ha, idiot. That's right. Stay out of my house. All right. Ooh. Hello. Medical benefits of the herbs. Blue herbs are good for poisoning, so it's just like the old games. If you combine a red one with a green one, it's, an, it's a full heal. Mm hmm According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing a blue and a red produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Does that mean to increase your max health or what? Oh, it, oh, good, okay, they kept it like the old games, where storage boxes are shared. Yes, I know, it's not like real life. But if that's what your complaint is, you play in the wrong game, buddy. Can we get the light switch on? Oh, that's so much better. 
Oh, it's a safe room. <gasps> the reassuring, calming music. Oh, thank you. Ah. Safe rooms are notorious for having lots of good items. They have a nice, calming music. What's this? Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Is that a red herb? Good. We're gonna save that. What am I supposed to do? Am I gonna have to develop a film in here to unlock a clue? Is this where I can make gunpowders and shit? <laughs> Alright. This is probably a pretty good uh, stopping point for now. I'm gonna pump out these episodes as fast as I can. Uh, let me in the let me know in the comments if you think I should cut these more. Maybe I'll do some cuts where I do a little too much exploring or I can't figure something out in time. I don't want these episodes to be too long and too drawn out. Uh, I gotta keep the immersion at the same time though, so I don't want to overcut them. So tell me what you think. I'm gonna be doing a full playthrough, obviously. Guys, good to be back. And oh, I know for those of you that are familiar with my channel, I know there's gonna be some of you like Mark the Shark. What the f, man? You disappeared for like. Six month and now you're back. Guys, I know. I'm actually going to put out a video in the near future about more about myself, um, why I started this channel, what I do for a living, and basically that will kind of explain it. Always knew I'd be coming back to this. And I probably will never take that long of a break again. I, at least I would tell you guys if I would, but I don't intend to. I'm back, baby, and this is going to keep going. Going to do this full playthrough. Guys, you know what to do. Keep on dancing.